Wow, look at this cup rolling on the floor. I mean, this is amazing. Check it out. Like, not only is this boat rocking, but every time the boat rocks, the freaking cup rocks the same way as the boat. Or what? Hang on. Actually, it kind of looks like the cup is almost ro rolling up, up the ship slope at times. But that's beside the point. Look at the effort they put into this. This is amazing. Anyway, welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. In fact, welcome back to yet another case where I'm re-recording an episode, which means I'm not going in blind. Um, no lost footage as the excuse this time. I simply... The last e last two episodes I recorded, they were kind of garbage. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I got stuck on a couple of points. I, it was a lot of meandering. I felt like... I d felt it wasn't good enough quality to release. Now, that said, of course, it ruins the experience of me going into this blind, but, and that's something I've kind of always, it's something that makes me debate, like, like, am I ruining the experience by doing like this, but on the other hand, I, I personally feel, and I feel a lot of people online as well, prefer videos where stuff happens, so I think you guys will excuse me doing this next hour or so, non-blindly, just to see, like, stuff happen. I'll be happy to point out all the parts where I was a complete dumb dumb and got super stuck so that, uh, you can all have a laugh at it. We can all laugh together at what an idiot I was, but, um... Yeah, you're about to see, we're about to get to a really, like, long cutscene. That, because I kept dying after the cutscene over and over again, I had to keep watching that, which... Of course I would have cut it out of the episode, but I was getting so frustrated having to redo that all the time, and it's probably some of impairing some of my judgment, which is embarrassing, I admit, but... Hmm. Oh, hey. Got Only the a few of the areas are actually marked. Got the crowbar again, in case we want to, uh, clobber someone, I guess. So, ignore that top save, which says Devil's Reef. We're not quite there yet. Yeah. So here we oh, go. Oh, shit! How the hell did you get in here? A small vent, a few sticks of dynamite, and a minor explosion. Oh, that you idiot! Sealing the exits is the only way we've kept those damn things out. Oh, that Jack always making wise cracks, even though we're in a shit deep. So he locks that door, which means I can't save the game after this very long cutscene we're about to. There's nothing I can do. He's as good as dead. Oh, oh my God! What Jesus. the hell? Um. Oh crap. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of confused why Jack is so jokey all the time. We're still being attacked by fish powers. monsters. Oh, man, there must be an engine fault. Just great. We're sitting real pretty now. You'd better go and sort it out. You know, I just Wait, noticed the guys in the name is pipe. You're the engineer, you sort it out. I know nothing from nothing about ship engines. No way in hell. Those bloody things are everywhere. I already tried to get the welding kit from the cargo hold. We got jumped. Jesus, it was so fast. Only me and Paul got out alive. We had to lock Barry down there with it. Take these keys. With the welding kit, at least we could seal these doors, you know, give ourselves a bit more time. Great. Well, thanks. Um, uh, I love that line that Jack says there. That's like, I don't know nothing about nothing. Like... <laughs> Kind of reminds me that we are kind of in New England. It sucks that there's not more of these hilarious New Yorker or Bostonian accents going flying around. Which, honestly, I can't tell the difference between the two. But I'm sure a local could tell me what I'm doing wrong in my accent here. You lock someone in the cargo hold with one of them? Are you off your nut? Look, fella, I don't mean to crash in on your party of righteousness. But I'm looking out for number one. You know, this guy's got like a surfer dude. You're party of righteousness, dude! <laughs> uh, not quite, but I, I like the I, I like the idea. Anyway. And, well, we got the key to the cargo hold, and he locks us out again. Now, we've gone full circle. We're here again where these guys got slaughtered, and here's the dead captain, so... Now, first death was just running into this steam here. Or actually, I, I should probably keep that open, just in case. This steam will kill you if you run through there. <laughs> so, that... I had to reload and watch everything, everything up to, everything that we had to do talking to that guy there a moment ago, Roy Baker. Which is just a letter away from Troy Baker, I notice. 
So to shut off that steam, we can use this little gauge here. And oh boy, it's now well, we can go there, but freaking pressure goes up, and uh, this is very bad. In fact, let's see if uh, Jack says that. God, it's gonna blow. So let's just release the steam again, because that seemed like a bad idea. What? What did I die on? Oh, balls. Now I do have to watch those guys all over. Oh, it's happening again. Okay, well, I'll cut back to you in a second. This, this is how horrible this part of the game oh, is. Oh, shit. How the hell did you get in here? Even knowing what I have to do, I get killed here. Dynamite and a minor explosion. You idiot. Okay, so here we are again at this point. Must have been an errant blast of heat from that stupid open oven there. So that... So we close the steam there, we can run through there when this is closed, but, you know, uh... With the steam on full blast, you just- you don't have time, or with the pressure building up, you don't have the time to do all the stuff to fix the ship, so- so... I was stumped for a while. This is my first big stump, I had to do like five times this part again. Uh, cause we had to get to that one over there, you can sort of run there, switch that, then run back here and open this again, but the, Then you're still stuck with steam over there and heat over here, you're like, how do I progress? And then it just simply hit me. I was like, couldn't you close this hatch here? And yes, that's how simple it is. You simply close this off and now the oven is closed. Or the furnace, whatever it is. So now we have free reign to run around around here. And oh, I forgot to open that one. Hold on. Well, that wasn't very smart of me now, was it? Also, I should have used my pistol. Ugh, my precious revolver ammo. Oh, you know what? We're still gonna have to close it because that steam's in the way. So that that valve over there closes the steam up there, and that's we need to close that as well. So, um... Oh, shit. I hope I can do this. Run. It's... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God, it's gonna blow. Right? I think I did it. Now I had to hope I don't get stuck on the emergency ladder. Actually, I probably lowered it after I've done this part. Fuck, go, 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 go! You stupid... Okay. And steam's closed up there, the, the valve up there, so... It's all gravy. Whew, okay, that was, the, that was the scariest part. That was scarier than any of the deep ones skulking about on the ship. <laughs> oh, boy. In fact, that was so scary, I'm gonna go save my game now, so that uh, we don't have to do all of that over again, in case I do something stupid. Ay ay ay, that was a... Uh, harrowing. But, uh, yeah, we just do that. Oh boy, so the game crashed while I was, uh... Saving my game there. Unfortunately, it recorded the save, so I didn't have to do everything again. Did you know Bethesda games are a bit unstable? Yeah. Anyway, the key that the guy gave to us goes to it's unlocked. this hatch here. Ah oh, shit, this is the this is the uh This is the hold where we saw all those uh, flashes of some guy getting slaughtered. In fact, why am I holding this dinky pistol? Give me, give me something a bit heavier. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Nope. Nothing important here. Yeah. Jeez. No, it's fine. We're not going crazy by watching that dead body or that hand there. Why would we go crazy from that? No. Well, looks like this is the welding kit. Where'd you come from? Well, so much for that spook, right? <laughs> oh, better not stare at the body. Okay, body's this despawned, so I can stop worrying. Boy, yeah. I mean, I I tell you, the first twenty minutes of this of the first of this episode went into just figuring out how to get to that cargo hold without blowing up the ship. Now, uh, now we're doing really good time here. So, now that we possess the welding kit... Oh, wait, it's, it's not in my weapons. I think I found the problem. That'll need repairing before the ship's going anywhere. 
Now, I don't understand exactly the mechanics of this part, if we're perfectly honest. Um, because, uh, hold on, let me just get that out. And then we can smoke it. See, that's really clever, there's a little thick glass shield there. Protect you, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, really clever, old-fashioned technology, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, sorry for the skip there. My freaking FPS died super hard again. I thought it would be okay, but it got really bad there. But yeah, now this is welded, so now we can activate the engine again. And that kind of perplexes me about the whole mechanics of this ship here, because... As we clearly saw, steam was escaping... Steam was escaping out of there. Uh... And, but, and while steam was escaping out of there, if we closed this valve, um, it would cause an enormous pressure increase. Which doesn't make sense to me if steam is escaping uncontrollably. But now that the hole is patched up, if I turn this, everything is now fine. See, we close that over there, and uh, it's not blowing up. Even though more stuff is now closed, so it seems to me that pressure would be building up way harder now that uh, <laughs> all the things are closed up. I, I, if, if there's some sort of mechanical engineer out there who can explain to me how this would make sense, how this could happen, um, you're, you're welcome to write in and explain to me. But to me, this seems like at this point their ship should really be blowing up. Anyway, now we turn this on again and engines are back in action. So that's that puzzle solved. Now we can go now that guy will let us through finally. Thank goodness you're back. Yeah, uh, no, no problem. I'd rather not talk to him. He's a stinking coward. Yeah, you tell him, Jack. How about this guy? How's he doing? The body's still warm. He hasn't Give been me dead that. long. We gotta seal the doors. Oh, right. He, uh... Well, I guess he didn't really look like he was gonna make it, so... Hmm. All right, dude. Uh, yeah, you have fun with that. It's not really... There have been noises at the other entrance. They're trying to break it. Damn it, do something! Oh, my. I see it. Ow! Whoa, double kill, I think. And immediately I take a couple of hits. Great. Well. Could have gotten worse with big... Deep ones there. Everything okay, buddy? Come on, Roy. They're dead. I'm not moving. Okay, Roy. You... You watch our six, then. Sitting around there like a stinking coward. Me? I'm going to move on ahead, because clearly... The mythos isn't nearly as scary as was advertised. Fighting them is completely fine. Actually, I say that, but we should pick out or we should, we should take out the crowbar just in case because that's not a loaded weapon for the next scene the next scene was an encounter where i actually managed to gain enough uh, insanity law or enough sanity loss that uh jack decided to um bite the bullet quite literally so let's hope that doesn't happen again oh here we are are we almost at devil's reef up oh. Oh dear, the door's closed. Um, I'd like to get back in. Getting a bit spooked here. Oh, on second thought, maybe I don't want to go back in because that's the room we just came in from. Hey, Roy, Roy. Um, actually, no. Maybe Roy deserves what's coming to him. No, that's a horrible thing to say. And there's a horrible thing to happen to a person. Well, it's a good thing we're out here in safety, and he's out, uh... <laughs> oh my god! Alright, keep that crowbar. Was that what I thought it was? Was that perhaps a giant deep one? Yes, it is! Ow! Oh my god. So yes, this guy is horrifying enough that uh, looking at him will long enough will make Jack go crazy that he will kill himself. Can you believe this? I'd, I'd say the whole fighting the mythos thing is going a bit too far here, guys. We're fighting a giant Godzilla kaiju right now. 
So yeah. Oh! Oh, this is bad. It's gonna start rocking the boat. But it's fine. We can uh, hold there and... Uh, oh. He rocked the boat so hard I scratched my eye on something. I don't know how that works. Oh, shit. He's right... Ow! He got me. He got me, boy. He got me done real good. As usual, I'm running out of my sutures. I don't think so. Come on, grab the damn. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do anything in this fight because I'm just eating up all of my time at patching myself up. This week. Oh! I swear it didn't go this bad my first time. That was one of the good moments of my fight, notwithstanding the part where I went crazy. Oh, here he goes. He's gonna rock the boat. I'm fine. Dang it, ugly. So he can only be hurt by the gun. Oh no. Where is he? Like, this cannon is the only thing strong enough to hurt this big boy, but, uh... Unfortunately... Ah! Ah, ah, so far. The, uh, the radius on the gun is really bad, or the turning radius. So you can only really hit him if he comes up right in front of the ship. Go away! Oh, he's gonna rock the boat! No, he's not. Okay, he just spooked me for a second. How do you reach me? Oh, god damn it! I got no sutures! Oh, finally! Okay. There. Uh, yeah, how do you like that, stupid? It seems like it's safer to hang out down here as long as you can duck away to the other side in time. No. But then, of course, you have to really hurry to get over there and reach there. Also, I should not be looking at him. He's gonna... Phew! He only ever seems to rock the boat if he climbs up on the top left, uh, the left bow of the ship. Fuck! No, still no good. Like, right here. It's gonna be like, stupid human! Stop running! Come on, please climb onto that. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know if it's like, it depends on where you are, on how big boy, um, where big boy climbs up, but, uh, like, he definitely climbed up way more in the front the first time I fought him, this fight was a lot shorter. He's behind me somewhere. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, seriously, you've just been flopping between these two. It's about time you... No! Oh! I figured he wouldn't climb there. Why was I wrong? No! <sighs> he got me good. See, I keep anticipating this time he's gonna appear right in front of the ship and I can shoot him, but, uh, no such luck. Um... Let's close that myself, why don't I? So the first shot's, of course, a freebie on him, because he always climbs up in the way front of the ship, so we just hang out here and... Now, I don't know... Is this guy supposed to be Dagon, then? I have some issues with the idea that Father Dagon himself would appear. Not just that we can fight him and beat him, like, that's kind of ridiculous uh, as well, you know. It's that stretching the whole fighting back against these monsters a bit far. But also, Dagon's supposed to be in the South Seas, so I find it a bit ridiculous that Dagon just is... There. That Dagon is in Innsmouth. It, it seems... Ah! Well, 
he never seems to climb up at the same spot, so... Ah, uh, just watch, he's gonna climb up at the same spot. It's not gonna risk. Right, in fact, he climbed up on the top right this time, which is fine. But why were you so fast this time? Did you see that? He almost immediately after being over there came on this side. Are you for reals now? This, this fight doesn't make a lot of sense to me. If we're perfectly honest. Oh, it's gonna... Oh, here comes the boat rocker. Uh, rock a my baby! Ah! This, this is the best place to hang out on this front. Also, I just really shouldn't be looking at him again, because Jack might go crazy enough to uh, fight the bullet in this fight. I mean, I don't know, personally the Shoggoth is way creepier and more horrifying than just a giant fish man, but I can see the terror in having to fight this guy. Oh, I should have known he'd climb up there. Now he's gonna climb up on the right, isn't he? No, no, he's gonna do a boat rocker. No, I'm fine, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, seriously, you're not climbing up in the... I don't know what's supposed to trigger that he climbs up here. Am I supposed to run all the way to the... Hello, hello, Chuck. Oh, that worked. Neat. I just had to. Headshot. Is that the big trick? I'm just hanging out behind too much. I guess that makes sense. I'm just gonna wait. He's gonna do a boat rocker right now. So. I'm just gonna... Oh, good scraps there. No, I'm fine. This is really risky, but I can't waste much further time. Nope. Over here. Come on. I'm I'm the lady from uh, Titanic right here. I don't remember the name. Uh, you're my Leo DiCaprio. Let your arms enfold us. Oh. Bingo. Okay, I guess that that's what I had to do then is kind of stay in the front. Trick him into coming there. On. Where are you? I'm right here. Come on, do it. Oh shit! That worked a little too well. Yeah, that's I, what I shot him four times now. I, I believe. I believe it's five shots if I counted correctly the first time I tangled with him! That was close. Joe! <laughs> I could do so much more damage just by grabbing me, you know? Swallowing me whole, but he insists on being a slap daddy. Ah, uh, Smile, you son of a- Oh boy. Okay, so that wasn't quite done yet. Oh! How about now? No, seriously. You're just not gonna... That's like, how many bullets have I put in him by now? Oh. Oh. Not enough. Yo! Oh, that's the worst one he climbed, but that seems to catch me every time. I'll just hang out in the front now. There he is. Okay, ugly. Oh, no, no, no. That missed! Yep. Oh, now we're going too crazy. Yeah, because I, I stared at him way too long. Look, look at Jack's craziness here. Oh boy. Whoa boy. He's gonna make finishing this fight. Okay, whoa, okay. Oh, whoa. Got my senses back to me. There's no such thing as monsters. 
Yarg! Eat shit already! Whew. Now, just, now in the cutscene, Jack just keeps staring at this guy. Yeah, yeah. Well done, game designers. Oh boy. Why didn't he just capsize the ship immediately, you ask? Because, um, well, uh, we won't have much of a game then, not with me. Come on, guys. Give the game some break, at least. Oh, yeah, this cutscene. This is really neat. I like this cutscene. Um... Because this one's again about Shadow Out of Time, one of a really good Lovecraft story. Like I had when forgotten a bunch of stuff mentioned land, here. We would track them by the strange footprints they left in their wake, consisting of five circular toe marks. They were blind, yet had exceptional sensitivity to both motion and sound. In battle, these creatures could harness the power of the winds with terrifying precision. It wasn't until the great energy weapon was developed that we had the means to fight their evil. Yes, a great then energy we weapon. To drive them down deep into the catacombs beneath their basalt towers, sealing all routes with impenetrable trap doors. Yeah, this part was like, oh yeah, I forgot all about that plot involving the great race of Yith and, and their enemy monster, their enemy race monster thingies in that shadow out of time. I remember this. Um, that was a really good idea pressing that button back in there. However long ago it was. Alrighty then. Yeah, I think it's pushing it a bit too far having to fight the giant fish monster like that. The whole horror of the Cthulhu is kind of poorly maintained that. But uh, I think I've made enough of a kerfuffle over that issue. So we just have to live without the game throwing at us at this point. As a fight, it's, it was an okay fight, I think. It wasn't, like, terrible. It didn't really... Like, a, it was a bit... Mm, it's a bit annoying sometimes the way he pops out and stuff, but uh, nothing too terrible, I'd say. Did I really see what I think I saw, or was it another hallucination? I can't be sure any longer. Surely these things can't exist in any rational universe. But then, how could any human imagination, even an insane one, produce such horrors? And why do some of these things, shapes, the words they use, they seem so familiar? That's the question that's eating at me. Are they connected to my lost memories? And if so, what on earth happened to me during the six missing years? Or was it even on Earth? I need to get a grip on myself and look for any other survivors from the wreck of the Urania. I hope I'm not alone on this hellish rock with these... these things. I must be careful, though. I've seen for myself what they do to unwelcome visitors. We're on Devil's Reef. Exciting. Also, nice job, Jack, on keeping your diary and writing equipment waterproof. A little swim there. Some of the wreckage from the Urania has floated ashore. Yeah, but and and ourselves, no other survivors though. I kind of doubt anyone's alive there by the point we fought. Uh, what may have been day gone. Okay. So, 
This level This level's a bit day, uh, yeah. Oh boy. Well, I guess that answers the question of if we're alone here or not. We don't want to fall there, so... What the hell? Oh shit, I touch... So I remember just standing there and staring at the open trap there. Somewhat perplexed, and then this thing came and swung at me. <laughs> but now we navigate the trap just fine. So that's what we can look forward to in this area, really annoying. Almost, I'd say, almost Tomb Raider-ish traps. They remind me of the early the Tomb Raiders. Fierce, and there isn't much shelter ahead. I need to be careful. So there's a fork in the road. We want to take this fork first, even though... Oh, ow, 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 ow. No, my legs are fine. Even though this happens, so we need to be careful. Oh. Who is that talking? What does it sound like, Peter Laurie? Or possibly Engine from uh, Crash Bandicoot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is where they sacrifice stuff to the. This jetty must have been where they carried out the sacrifices to Dagon. Yeah, this is where they sent gifts to the deep ones. So we need this. A strangely carved disc. These shackles would have been used to chain people to the rocks. Also, I can't. Is, is that supposed to be the corpse of the giant fish monster we killed? I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it's a corpse out there. Also, I'm sorry, but um. I, I can't get terrified by someone doing like a Peter Lorre impression like that, or Ren Hoek from Ren and Stimpy, if you will. <laughs> Fuck! I forgot that that part collapsed as well. <sighs> I mean, I've perfectly honest, I've never seen an actual Peter Lorre movie. Ow. I'm still fine. I've only ever. Seems like I've only ever watched uh, the jokes on um, Looney Tunes with the Why did you hit me, Bruno? Wait, I need you from my experiments. <laughs> and um, it's kind of it's kind of <laughs> ruined any terror the strangely character might hold for me. Oh, oh no god I Oh god I I <laughs> hate these cliffs <laughs> I'm going crazy The cliffs they're collapsing <laughs> But it's not I who is crazy It is I who am mad <laughs> uh, Okay I think we're past the worst part so uh mm.